Hi everybody, my name is Christian Jenko and today we're going to talk about how to get your own website that you've made with HTML and not just view it on your local computer but actually get that out into the wild so that anyone can see it at your own custom URL. So just like how I have my webpage is christian.gen.co and I can send this to anyone in the world and they can see my webpage that I've written, that's what we're going to set up today. Usually this would cost $10 a year for the .com domain name, or there's a new TLD, a top level domain called .xyz. And these domain names cost between one and $5. So that's what we're gonna be using today. And then for hosting, usually hosting would cost uh, about $5 a month for, this would be like FTP hosting or other basic hosting, but we're actually gonna figure out a way to get it for free through GitHub. It's going to be a little bit harder to set up, but once we get it going, you'll gain a lot of skills on GitHub in particular, which is really good if you're thinking about learning to program and, and moving on with these programming skills. And I will be right here to walk you through it. So first thing you're going to need is a GitHub account. I've already created one here, and I'm going to click on this green button up here, this new repository. I'll just click that. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm going to call it my great website, and I'm going to make this public and I'm going to initialize it with a readme. So let's create that repository. Now I'm gonna make a new file and I'm gonna call this file index.html. This is the default page that will load when someone goes to my website. And all I'm gonna do is copy that and paste it right in there. So I have my website content in this new file index.html. Now I need to say what the commit message is. Now GitHub works by being backed by Git, which is a version control system. It lets you take snapshots of your files. So if I mess up something here, I'll have a really easy way to roll back those to a previous commit. So I'm gonna call this uh, initial commit of index.html. And we're gonna commit it to the master branch, that's fine, and we're gonna say commit. All right, now let's set up GitHub pages. So right now, all I've done is created a repository, which is a way that Git stores code or stores files but now I need to transition it to actually be working for GitHub pages. So the first thing you do is click on this branch on your page, and then right here you type gh-pages. And it's very important that you spell this exactly right, gh, and then a dash or a minus sign, p-a-g-e-s. And then you click this create branch gh-pages. Now the next thing you need to do is make this the default branch. So if you notice, if I go here, and navigate to it, it switched me back to master, but I want it to be on GH pages all the time. So the way that we do that is to go to our project settings right here, and then click on branches, and then go down to GH pages and update that as the default branch, and that's fine. So now when I go here, I can see that GH pages is my default branch. So just by doing that, we have actually created this website uh, that is public for everyone to see. And the URL is very cryptic, it's kind of weird how they set this up. To visit your website, you go to your username.github.io slash the name of your repository. So for us, that is our GitHub username.github.io slash my great website. So if we enter that, we can actually see, hey, there's our website. And if you look, it is exactly the same as our locally hosted website. So the next thing we wanna do here is set up our own custom domain name. This URL is kind of tricky for people to see. We want a nice, very professional domain name. So the way that we're gonna do that is to buy it through Namecheap.com. Namecheap is a domain name registrar. There's a lot of different places like this. Hover.com is one of them. There's also Google Domains. They're all basically the same. I like using Namecheap because I already have a lot of domains with them and they're usually one of the cheapest people around. So what we're gonna do is uh, you just search for a domain name here. So I'm gonna use mygreatwebsite.xyz because XYZ domains are very cheap. And we can see it's actually taken because I have already bought it. So we're gonna go up here to our dashboard and then to the domain list. This is once you've already bought it. And then I'm gonna look for my great website. Here we go, my great website XYZ. And then you click manage over here. So once you have your domain name, you need to tell Namecheap about GitHub. And then you need to tell GitHub about Namecheap. And once you've connected those two things on each side, then you can just visit migratewebsite.xyz and it'll just work. And the way that you do that is after we click on details, click on this advanced DNS tab over here, 
and you want to set this up to look exactly like this. So I've edited this, edited this from what it is by default. You want a C name record, a C name record for the host www, and you want the value of that to be your username.github.io. And you want to set the TTL to be as low as possible. TTL stands for time to live. It basically means how long it's okay for the system to wait before trying to look to see if you've changed anything. So while you're setting things up, you want this to be as low as possible so that you don't have to wait uh, 60 minutes to see if the change that you just made actually works. So that's the first DNS record that we want to set up. The second one is a URL redirect record. And for the host of that, you want it to be the at symbol. This is the at symbol. And the value of that you want to be your full domain name, so whatever your domain name is, with http colon slash slash www dot and then a slash at the end. And you want that to be unmasked. So basically what this is saying is, if I just go to migratewebsite.xyz, that's what this at symbol means, it means nothing. So if I just go to the naked domain migratewebsite.xyz, this is also called an apex domain, if I type this in, I want you to redirect me to the www version of this domain. So if I type in this domain, I want you to redirect me to this web domain. That's what the second one says. This first CNAME record says, hey, if you're coming to www.migratewebsite.xyz, I want you to, to actually go to this my username.github.io and then have github.io handle this. So once you set up these two things, you're actually done with Namecheap or whatever other registrar you've used, and you can go to GitHub. So now we've told Namecheap about GitHub. Now we just need to tell GitHub about Namecheap. And this is very easy. We just say create a new file. And this file should be called C N A M E C name. And you want the value of that to be your full domain name. So we're going to say www.mygreatwebsite.xyz. And then here we're going to call this commit tell GitHub about Namecheap domain and we will commit this new file. So now, fingers crossed, we should actually be able to go to migratewebsite.xyz and if we load this, hey, it works, migrate website. And this is exactly the same as our previous URL but with a, a much nicer URL that we have chosen and that we have bought. I'm gonna show you two small tricks with this. The first is it's good manners when you're making a public GitHub repository to edit this with the website people can go to to see your repository. So we're just gonna copy this and paste it here. And for the description, we'll say, uh, the best website ever, save. And now people can click here to go directly to the website. The second trick is I'm gonna show you how to make multiple pages and then link them to each other. So let's make a new file and let's call it uh, nocats.html. And for this, I'm just gonna copy my index.html Let's just copy all this and paste it right here. And it's gonna be with no cats. And uh, that's fine, I'll just leave the default message there and say commit. So we have two pages now. We have this index.html and no cat.html. So you can see if I go slash no cat.html, we have this page with no cat. But how can we link between these two pages? First, let's add a link from index.html to no cat. Uh, so we'll put that, oops, I wanna edit this. And we'll put that link right here. We'll say ahref equals, and you just do a slash no cat.html because that was the name of it. And we'll say, please get rid of the cat. And you'll notice we don't have to say what our domain name is. We don't have to say migrate website.xyz slash no cat. And we'll say added link to no cats.html. And we'll do the same thing with no cat. We'll edit this with a link to just the index. And we'll say, please bring the cat back. And we'll say added link to index. Commit. So now we just updated the two pages. Sometimes it takes a while to update, but we'll see. Hey, it, it updated right away. So now we can see if we click this link, it goes to no cat. And then if we refresh this page, we can bring the cat back. So now we, we can go between these two pages. I'm gonna show you one last thing, which is the power of using Git. The great thing about Git is that we can actually go through and see every single commit that we've made and exactly what we've changed. So the very last commit I made, we can click on this to see exactly what I did. I added 
just this line. If you're interested in learning more about GitHub pages, you can go to this page. It's help.github.com slash categories slash github dash pages dash basics. And I'll link to this in the video description. You can learn a lot of advanced features of how to use this, including generating a blog with a whole bunch of pages. You can make something with hundreds of pages using the same technique. And this is actually what I have my personal website hosted on right now, uh, which is christian.gen.co. And if you go to my website, it's just my name, christian.gen.co and you would like to get notified whenever I make something new, you can scroll to the bottom of this page and type in your name and email address here and subscribe and I will send you an email whenever I make something new. That's it.